Mask off. All right, kiddos, good morning, good morning. I'm going to mask off here. I'm going to go. What's up, y'all? Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Katie, thank you for getting your registration in early. I notice, yo. I notice everything, yo. Ladies, great to see you. Let me get you all checked in over here. So far, who do we have? We've got Katie in the house. I see Mrs. Wheeler. How often do you hear that? I like it, though. I see Yen in the house. I see... Where's my Becca at? Becca's not coming. She doesn't feel well this morning. Jessica, give her a ring later. Jessica's here. I see Rachel Rabb, Ashley Drake's in the hizzy dizzy. And let's see if everybody else makes it in. All right, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. And we're going to try to get this party started early like I like to do. All right, so uh, it's Fat Loss Friday. Fast, fast paced Friday, whatever you want to call it. Uh, what we're going to do is we'll have our warm up round, which uh, we'll go through it a couple times, and we'll start making it a little bit more than just a warm-up. Oh, Rachel, you're in the garage. Nice. All right, so um, our warm-up, I'm not going to tell you about that. I'll tell you about that when we get there. But the thing that I do want you to have is two weights. Our goal is to have two weights to do flies with. Now, if you don't want to do the flies, you could also do wide grip push-ups. Right? You can do that instead. But with the fly, what I'm hoping for is that what we'll do is we'll do our fly here and do a little sit-up with it as we come up. So notice my head is down as my arms come out. I come around like I'm going to hug Santa Claus, and I do a little sit-up around that. So that'll be your goal there. Again, if you don't have dumbbells to do that with, then you can just do a wide position push-up. So in the meat and potatoes, we're going to do a uh, tap back skip, right? So that can look like whatever you want. You can come all the way down. You can go a third of the way down. You can just tap the foot and stay right here. Then we're going to go into a squat, lunge, squat, lunge, squat, lunge type jump. And again, if you don't want to jump, you don't have to. We're going to go into our walkout plank, but that will go right into an extended plank. You'll hold it there. Then we're going to roll you over for those chest flies. Then we'll come back to plank and we'll go mountain climbers need a tricep. And then our final one will be these big star jumps, all right? Again, if the star jump doesn't feel good, you could go more into a step out and really reach those arms up. So again, uh, you're gonna want dumbbells as your goal, but let's get it started. So I'm gonna turn my, uh, my timer on, doing pretty well, sticking in my five minute range. All right, gang, so listen, we're gonna go straight into plank, please, a straight arm plank. Now from here, we're gonna hold it first, about 20 seconds, and then we're gonna go into down, down, up, up, right? So it's just where you go down to the forearm, back up into the straight arm. So here we're hollowed in the belly. I've got a little contraction through the glutes, and we've got about five more seconds, and then we'll go to the down, down, up, up. Three, two, one. I'm gonna go down with one arm, back up with it, and then I always tend to alternate. <sighs> You know what I tell you about that? Figure out what you always tend to do and then try to change that. Now, so what I might do is do two on one arm and then two on the other. But right now you should have your glutes engaged and we're gonna get two more of these completely. All the way up, all the way down. Last one, roll over on your back, please. So we're gonna go right into some elbow knee crunches now. What I want you to do first to start is get your elbows and your knees touching. My ankles are flexed, my lower legs are parallel with the ground, and my gaze is going straight through my toes here. Again, I'm holding first. In a couple of moments, all you're gonna do is release the lower body and then bring it back. So from the hip joint, with your knees staying bent like this, now tap your heels to the floor, and then bring the knees back to the elbows. So I do that double exhale, that exhale on the down, and that exhale on the up. Nice, the upper body is staying lifted here, upper body staying up in place, and then just the legs are moving up and down. 
Awesome. A light tap of your heels. Maybe you can get your knees all the way back to touch your elbows, maybe even inside of those elbows for a big full reverse curl. Again, try to make sure both knees come up at the same time. Your left one's having a tendency to go up first. Three, nice work, ladies. Two, one. Now check me out for a second. I'm gonna roll back and come up to standing. Now, you can do it any way you want. You can just do a full lay down stand up, or you can do your down, roll back, come back up to standing. Now, you'll notice I like to cross my feet. It's early, I feel safer. I know I can come up that way. Then I'm gonna uncross them on my way down. Maybe I'll keep them crossed. I like to try and drop right through that. Now I'm starting to feel a little more warmed up. So I might try to keep those legs woo, apart, but that's always tricky. Keep going. Remember, you can just step back and go down. Right, you can do our regular. Nice, Ashley and Ashley making sure her knees go open. Right, so our regular one is just step back, sit back, lay all the way down, sit up, cross one leg over, roll it out, and come on up. Everybody up and stay up now, and let's do some jumping jacks. Good, keep going, Katie, very good. So everybody's in jumping jacks right now. Remember, if you don't like that roll over, that big flippy flu, then like we always do, you just step back, roll over that leg, go to your full lay down, and then bring it up, roll over that leg, and come up there. So you've got those two choices. All right, everybody's still in their jumping jacks. Let's keep going, please. Where's my crew at? Let's see. We're missing like four people, except for this lover. She canceled early. All right, all right, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Let's see, Susan's in no bueno, so she must be really going to the nine o'clock. Awesome, let's keep it going. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Plank position, and we're gonna hold it. Spread out your fingers, engage your glutes, hollow the belly. We're holding first for about 15 more seconds. Then we'll do our down, down, up, ups. I'll stay on the same arm for about five reps, and then I'll switch it to the other one. We've got five more seconds here, and then we'll go into that down, down, up, up. Three, two, one, go. I'm going down, up, same arm. Now, if you'd like, you can just stick with the alternating. I've got those Abba Dabba Dooskies. I'm gonna switch to that other arm. Just want you to always make sure you're not just leading with the same arm every time. Five, four, three, two, one, and roll it over. All right, we're going into, oh, I missed one. Let's do it now, please. So we're gonna go into alternating hip bridge, and the alternating means you're changing the leg every time. So I just quickly switch those legs out as my butt gets down to that floor. And then I push the hips back up with that one single leg. Let me check y'all out. Nice, yeah, upper body's down, nice and relaxed. Push the butt up. Excellent, now remember, make sure that the foot that you're driving through on the floor is, uh, you have your heel down. So Ashley, let your feet go forward a little bit, yeah. And do it again. So think toes up, yeah. And now notice where your foot lands every time. Go ahead, go through the move. Right, you don't have to readjust it, right? So you don't wanna land with your toe down first, gang. Foot flat or heel first. Three, two, one. Good, everybody, elbows and knees crunched together. Elbows and knees crunched together. See Ashley down there, she's got those knees up. She's got those elbows touching those knees. Now stay right there for me. Stay right there for me. Keep the elbow knee locked, please. Jessica, elbows and knees locked together. Lock it in, lock it in, ladies. Stay still, stay still, stay still. Yeah, we've got that hold first. Come on, Corey, can you get those knees to your elbows for me? All right, now everybody move the lower body only.
slowly. Lower body taps down, comes back up. Taps down, comes back up. Taps down, comes back up. Do it again. Taps down, comes back up. Good, good, good. Toes up on those feet, so it's your heels tapping the floor. Upper body's lifted and it stays in place. Lower body's the moving factor right now. Five. Awesome, four. Stay with it here. Three, two, all right, let's come all the way up to standing, all the way back down to the floor. No hands if you can help it, please. You can either do your step back and lay all the way down, come back through and stand or drop that bottom, shift those hips, come on up. Drop that bottom, lift those hips, Come on up. So again, I'm going to do that ankle cross for my stand up and then I'll uncross them as I go back down. Sometimes I've got it in me to oomph it and to get right through it. This morning, I'm feeling tired, not overly safe. So I'm going to change my foot position. Very nice, Katie. Good. Don't be shy. If you need to use the hand, use it. Listen, ladies, we've got eight seconds and then we're going into jumping jacks. Awesome. Awesome. Nice, Corey, beautiful. There you go, Yen. Careful, we don't want those knees pushing towards each other. Try and push them out and away from each other. Yeah, I like that crossover. Two, one, everybody in jumping jacks, please. We're taking it up. Now we're gonna go through that warm up one more time. So you're using both hands, of course. I'm just using the one because I'm like a rock star in the uh, recording room. And I'm like, ah, let's hope not, huh? All right, listen, a lot of people out there with no talent. I don't know how they're making big money. All right, so we've got this jumping jack going. You can be jogging in place. You could do low feet shuffles. You could do anything you want. You could do nice little tap out, alternating sides also. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Plank position and just hold the plank position first. Hollow at the belly. So you see here our warm up is a little bit of our workout today. Hollow belly. Shoulders rounded, but I still feel my lat muscles engaged a little bit. My big exhales, helping also to encourage more abdominal strength. I've got those glutes tight. Five, four, three. I'm going down, down, up, up. Right, starting to tap into those arms a little bit more. Now remember here too, ladies, your goal is when your hand comes back to the floor, it's right underneath your shoulder. I know it's very hard to do at first. Make sure you're changing your arm if you haven't already. Right underneath your shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll over on your backs. Ladies, we're going right into that alternating hip bridge, please. My big goal for you, abdomen in. Feel that connection. The foot. You're just landing down on the toes. Your foot should just land right down and you can just push right up. That's optimal, right? If you have to put your foot down and then reset it, that takes up extra time. That is not optimal. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Awesome, you feel your low back touch the floor every time before your hips lift. Four, three, two, everybody. Elbow, knee crunch and hold it. Everybody, elbow, knee crunch, hold it in place. Katie, you're gonna do alternating hip bridge for me, please. You just did your ab crunches. Alternating hip bridge, one leg goes up. Good, everybody else, you're holding that crunch for me. All right, three, holding that crunch. Two, now move the legs only, please. Tap the heels, bring them back up. Tap the heels, bring them back up. Awesome work. So we're still keeping the low back down on that floor. When your heels tap down, maybe exhale there as well. We still have that low back. Press into the floor. Big, big, big exhales. 
Let's keep it going. One of our girls can't make it, so I am going to send her the workout while you girls finish up your abdominal work. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and excellent. From there, all the way up, all the way down, stand up, sit downs, stand up, lay downs, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to roll through. And I'm going to come on up, take those legs apart, and rock it out again. Roll through, come on up. Oh, yeah, I just don't have it in me this morning to get that big oomph. Let's do it, Jessica. Step back, drop down, open all the way back. One leg comes through. You got it, Katie, just like that's fine. Step back, through, all the way back. Come through, stand up. Yen, yeah, make sure those knees aren't caving in towards each other for me, please. Beautiful, gang. Beautiful. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, Katie. Nice little roll. Everybody jack it out. Last time for us, please. So my low impact's right here. I'm not letting my hips turn like I'm doing dance class. That's totally different. Right? If I'm here, I want to catch myself in those leg muscles, those hip muscles. Right? I want to be protective and tight, right? Stable as opposed to poppy. That's just a different time and a different place. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Listen, come down into a nice deep stretch for me. Elbows. Push your knees open, and hopefully your butt is as low as you can get it. Now, we can't all get this low, and that's okay. So maybe you're here supporting yourself a little bit differently. This was me back in before Ashley was born, 92. Remember my cranky knees? I had two braces, one brace on each knee. This was me back then. I wasn't down here. I didn't have that mobility and that strength. Four. Three, but I worked at it year, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. All right, hands to the floor, butt up, and give me that nice hamstring stretch. Rock back into the heels, and then rock back into your toes. But keep your feet flat. Keep it flat. Abdomen's in, eyes closed maybe. How often do you get to just close your eyes and feel the air and hear things? Unless you're sleeping, right? But then you're not paying attention to anything. Three, two, one. Listen, just step one leg way back for me and drop that back knee. We're just going to do a couple alternating side rotations. All right, so I'm taking one arm up and then the other arm up. So I'm down in this nice long runner's lunge and I'm alternating which arm goes up. Four, three, Two, and from here, I'm going to straighten out my back leg, switch the leg that's in front, put the back leg down, and then go into my alternating rotations here. Now, I'm going to let you in on the little secret. I don't just stop rotating where my body stops me, right? I push just a little bit more through if I can, right? So not just the one to the left, but the one to the right as well. Awesome. Six, five, four. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, gang, listen. Let's get ready. We're going to go crazy. So what's going to happen here? We're going to do our tap back. Now you can tap anywhere from the floor, the shin, the knee, and hop up is your goal. You don't even have to tap the floor. That's okay. We're going to do both sides. Then we're going to do, the, if you would like, a light weight with you. Jump from squat into lunge to squat into lunge. Again, that wouldn't be anything more than 10 pounds, maybe not even 10. Then we are going to do our walkouts to extended plank and bring them back. So that's going to be continuous walk it out, bring it back. We'll do that chest fly that I spoke about. So that's where you need your dumbbells and you're going to sit up and crunch, come down. We'll go right back, roll over mountain climbers for those arms, the cardio and the core and those star jumps. I know, I'll repeat it as we get there. All right, let's get ready, we're gonna start. Pick your leg that you wanna start on. I'm gonna have my left leg in front, my right leg in back. My posture stays good no matter what. Four, 
three, two, one, go. So again, you could just be right here and hop it, or you can drop lower to get the legs a little bit more. Now remember, in the next round exercise, we are gonna be bending the legs a lot, so just you feel it out. Remember too, you might wanna be jumping on your mat if all you have is concrete underneath you, right? Use that mat to help absorb some of your shock. We're almost there, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna switch that leg. Other leg back, abdomen in, posture's good, go. So again, you can tap it all the way down or you can stay up. Beautiful, gang. Nice, Rachel, looking good. Jessica, very nice. Corey, you got it. Awesome. Think about that glute for me, Katie. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, check it out. If you want to add a little weight, I don't even have a little weight. I'm so sad. I'm going to take my little remote control. I'm going to start in a squat and then jump into my lunge. Go back to my squat, jump into the lunge. Three, two, one, go. Find a little rhythm. Now you can step out, right? I can step out. I don't have to do all those jumps. Awesome, Katie. You got it. You got it. Awesome. Beautiful. Seven, six, five. Yen, killing it. Good. Four. Three, two, one. Whoo, baby. All right. I get rid of my weight if I had one. We're going to go extended walk out and back in five, four, three, two, go. So extended, get your hands out over your head. Feel it and then walk it back. And then walk it right back out. Extended, hold it, feel it. Take it back. Do it again, extend it, hold it, feel it. Now remember, you do not want your hips shifting from side to side here, ladies. Lock your hips up, use your butt, use your gut. Once you start walking your hands back, I need you to feel like you are literally lifting your butt up to the sky. We're gonna get a couple more, keep your gaze forward. When you get in that plank, your gaze needs to be in front. Last two, abdomen in, arms go out, and last one, walk all the way out. Come down to your knees, roll over on your back, and grab your weights. So from here, if you don't have weights, that's okay too. I've got my heels down, my knees slightly bent, and my low back on the floor. My arms are out like I'm gonna come out to hug someone. I'm gonna crunch up as I bring my hands towards each other above me. Everybody, give it a shot. Let me see where you're at. Awesome. Nice straight arms for me, Ann. Ready? Nice and straight. Bring them all the way up over your chest. Katie, you're going a little too far forward. Straight up to the sky with those weights, gang. Try not to let them go forward in front of you. They should not pass your chest. They should be right over the chin and the chest. Good, good, good. Open them up on the down. Close them up on the up. Big exhale. Everybody looks great. Awesome work. Big exhale coming up. Lots of control on the down. We've got eight seconds, please. Seven, six, five, four. Great work. Three, two, and one. Roll it right over into plank. We're going mountain climbers, and I'd like you to hit the tricep. Okay, if you can. So get ready, three, loading the arms here on purpose, two, hold the belly tight, one knee to your tricep, go. Mountain climbers. So the beautiful thing here is if you don't want to run it, you don't have to, right? Good, now your goal, really stabilize around those shoulders for us, ladies. Head up, head up, that's it, boo, that's it. Very nice, very nice. Stay right there with it. You're awesome. We got a couple more to go. Couple more to go. Please keep it coming. 
10, 9, trying to hit that tricep, Yen. Right knee to right tricep, left knee to left tricep. 2, 1, rest. Okay, come on up. So here's the deal with this one. Be careful with it. Now, if you don't want to jump, I'll show you the modification. So you're going to come into like a mini squat. Jump up wide. Jump up wide. You can go side step, come back in. Side step, come back in. Go. Jump it up. Jump it up. Jump it up. So your goal, basically, check out Ashley. She's shooting for the stars, baby. She's a star shooting for the star. Notice when she lands right down into a bit of a squat so her thigh muscles catch her and not her knee joint. Good, good, good. Couple more for us. Know how you're landing on those legs. Four, three, two, one. Grab your water, awesome job. Grab your water. We get three more lovely times. Great work. All right, so most of it is taking your time actually today, but still getting that heart rate up. It's been hot, it's been muggy for days. All right, we've got to take that into consideration. And if you're not drinking at least five of those little bottles of water a day, you're screwed. Most of us about 64 ounces. All right, let's get ready. Take your body weight and then just cut it in half. And then those are the ounces, about amount, number of ounces you wanna be drinking. All right, step back, skip in four, in three, in two, go. So on this one, I'm gonna have a tendency to stay up a little bit more, because I know on the next one, I'm gonna work on bending the knees a lot. I'm still tapping into that glute muscle and burning it, baby. Almost there, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch right to the other leg and go. So your big exhales, ladies, I need you to feel them right here across your waistline. Right, we wanna stabilize that lumbar spine there. Four. Three, two, one. So, about 25 seconds. We're going into our squat jump, into lunge jump. Four, three, shoulders back, two, one. Jump squat, jump lunge. Jump squat, jump lunge. Now you can step out squat and then step back lunge. Right, so here it is without the hopping. But that belly's in and I bend those knees. Keep it going, keep it going. Corey, beautiful, everybody looks great. Rachel, sticking out that chest for me. Nice, Jessica looking good. Five, four, nice Katie, let's try and bring your gaze up a little bit. Two, one, rest. Walkouts into extended plank. You hold it there for a moment. Get that core, draw the shoulders back, three. Start getting that butt up to the sky, two, one, go. Extend, hold, send it back, butt up. Take it forward again. Extend it, hold, take it back. Do it again, extend it, hold, <clears throat> take it back. Again, extend it, hold and take it back, and do it again. Extend it, hold, and take it back. Awesome, gang. Again, let's see if you can bring your feet a little closer together. So they're quite so wide, perfect. It's just gonna change the stretch in your hamstrings. Right, ladies? That's it, nice, Jessica. Add that little sit up when you press those weights up. All right, don't forget that. Five, four, three, Two, one, roll right over onto your back. Jessica, you're gonna do your walkouts. Okay, you just stepped ahead a little bit. So Jessica, you're gonna do your walkout here. Everybody else, get ready with your weights. Three, 
two, one, and go. Fly with a crunch. All right, let me check everybody out. Keep it going. Good. Katie, you can keep your legs down or you can do that if you want. Most of us just have our legs down. Good. Legs a little bit longer. Toes up. Good. Make sure that low back is pressed down. When your weights come down, when they go up, they're right in line with your chest. So don't let them go back behind your head yet. Right out in line with your chest. Very nice, Rachel. Fly, fly, fly away. Beautiful, Katie. Yes. Jessica. Awesome. There you go, Corey. Open it up. Five, four, three, two. Why don't we stay in the sit up for a second? Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Big exhale. Stay there. Stay there. Three, two, one. Very good. Get rid of it. Let's roll over. Go back. We're going to mountain climbers. Your goal bring your knee to the tricep. Six, five. Hollow that belly. Three, two, one. One, go. Right knee, right tricep. Left knee, left tricep. That's it. Hollow belly. My gaze is right in the middle of my fingers. I'm lengthening my spine. Breathe, ladies. Breathe, ladies. Come on, baby. Come on. We're trying to run it out. Totally up to you. Mackenzie, going for a bike ride early in the morning. I see you, little kooky bird. Beautiful little lady. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rachel Rabinot touching those triceps. Awesome. Everybody up. We're doing our jump jacks. Star, sorry, star jumps. Jump jacks. I just put it all together. Okay, I've got a little bit of a squat position. I'm ready to create some momentum. Three, two, one, and go. My arms go out, as do my legs. That's what makes that star a star. Star of the day, who will it be? Come on, Jessica, baby, I want it to be you. Good, Katie, right down in those heels, right up through those glutes, yen, beautiful. Five, four, three, two, and one. Enjoy your break. Please grab your water. Please grab your water. I'm going to grab mine. Oh, yes. Woo! Underlay, underlay. What's up, little M? Hey, girl. All right, ladies. All my girls. Round number three, Jessica. We're looking good. Corey, killing it. You are killing it. What are you on? Day four or day three? Day four, huh? I think that's a three, or a shocker, one or the other. All right, five, let's get ready. Four, step back, skip, pick your leg. Two, one, go. So again, you can make it tougher by going lower. Abdomen's in, spine is straight. I've got that hinge forward. I could touch down to the floor if I wanted to, five. Four, three, two, one. Switch your leg. First exercise, round three. Go. My gaze just locked in one place. Katie, beautiful. Katie's doing the four touchdown. Awesome. Just get a little more load on that glue. Listen, some days you got it, some days you don't. Just keep moving. Five, four, beautiful. Three, two, one. Whoo! Squat, lunge, squat, lunge. Four, three, two. Lat muscles engaged and go. All right, that torso is forward a little bit. If you want to tap more into your glutes, that's what you want. If you want more quad, keep the posture a little more upright. Perfect, Katie. Smooth and steady, Jess. Lovely. Seven, 
six, nice and five, four, three, two, one, go. Everybody's got their hair, a hand up to their ear. Just kidding, just kidding, but it would be funny if you did. All right, let's get ready. Walkouts, extended plank, three, two, one, and go. That's it. I hold it out in that extended position. Abdomen, waistline. I push it back. My butt's way up high in the air. Keep it going. Good. No need to come up, Jessica. We're just going to go back into that forward fold and walk back out. Nice extended plank. Hands out over the head. Good. Stay in your forward fold. Walk back out. Make sure that head doesn't drop too low now. Seven, six, five. Ashley all glistening from her sweat. Looks amazing. Three, two, roll over on your backs, right? We're going to go into the chest flies with the sit-up. Chest flies with the sit-up. At the end, we will hold that sit-up. Five, four, three, two, one. So at the bottom, I never fully rest, right? I never fully rest. My head, if I can help it, doesn't even touch the floor. My hands, they don't touch the floor. My elbows do, but my hands do not. My forearms do not touch the floor. Good, yeah, now come down and then go up. So you're still going down, you're just not fully resting your head. That's it, that's it, Rachel, beautiful. Big inhale, exhale. Good. Katie, keep the hands over the chest. Careful, you're going over your hips. And put a lot of pressure in those shoulders. Good. Arms nice and straight, ladies. Arms nice and straight. Five, four, three, two. Stay up at the top. Stay up there. Stay up there. Exhale. Arms should be straight. Big exhales. Elbows up, Katie. Elbows up. Straight up to the sky. Straighten your elbows. Three. Two, one, rest, roll it over. Mountain climbers, please, knee to tricep. All right, lots of stabilization on those shoulders. Already hollowing out the belly. Four, the belly. Three, two, one, go. So we're running it out here. You're trying to hit your tricep. Your gaze is in front. Run it if you can, or just slowly step it. Yeah, baby, we want to get up that mountain. We want to get up that mountain. You are winning. Come on. Nice, Rachel. Stabilize those shoulders. Come on. Stabilize. Stabilize. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Awesome. All right, let's get ready. We're going to start. Jump, baby. Who's the superstar? Okay, chin comes down, lats engage, belly gets tight, right? No matter what, I always set up my musculature ready to support me. Success, two, one, go. Push, 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 right? So even before my jump, I set up, I feel that power like a rubber band. Pull it, and then boom, it bounces back. Nice, Katie. Again, I do suggest you jump on your mat, you ladies that are jumping on concrete. Five, four, three, two, one. Ashley, I'm going to have her on my cheerleading team. Fo Shella. I don't know if you saw those big jumps. Round number four, final round. Awesome work. Awesome work. Round number four. All right, everything's about 25 seconds long. A couple of them might be just a little longer. All right, get the shoulders back. You decide how low you're going. I got to do this like pull the belly in, lean it forward. Four, three, two, one, let's go. I can stay low and just burn the booty too, right? I can add in the hop or not. Five, four, three, two, one. Ouch, baby, it's burning. Three, two, one, go. Five, 
All right, again, I can stay low and just burn it. I can add in the hop. I could do more of a regular lunge. Almost five, four, three, two, one. Ah, yes, yes. Ah. All right, let's get ready. Squats, three, whew, two, one. Get at it. Drop it, pop it. Drop it, pop it. You can go faster, slower. You can just step. And I can step into my squat, step back in my lunge, step into my squat, step back into my lunge. Five, four, three, two. Oh my goodness, one. Awesome job. Walkouts. Whew, let's start in that forward fold. Ha, huh, five, four, three, two. Walk it out, extended plank. Hold it, feel that hollow belly. Take it back. Walk it out. Gang, I never look at my feet. There's no reason, no need for my head to be hanging that low. If I'm a straight spine, if I'm a plank, my gaze, staying ever so slightly forward because my spine is staying more erect and not fully folding. Awesome job, stay with it. Stay with it, very nice. When you walk it back, you get that butt up to the sky. One second hold on the extension, maybe two to three. Walk it back, walk right back out. Five, four, three, two, and on your backs. Awesome. So right now my head is down as I set up and my arms are over my chest. I'm gonna inhale the weight down. Exhale, do a little tiny sit up. Inhale down. Exhale, sit up, go. Now your head can go all the way back to the floor if you want, that's okay. Right, but make sure you come up with the weight. Katie, hold it right there, Katie. Yeah, there you go, now down and open. Down and open, up and close. Nice, Jessica, let's try and keep those arms straighter when they go out, okay? Less of a press, more of a fly. Nice, Corey, good, good, good. Nice, Yen, just don't let those hands touch the floor. Do not let your weights rest on the floor. Stop right there, right back up. Almost there, ladies, seven. Nice sit up, Rachel. Good, do it again, do it again. In about three seconds, we're gonna stay up in the sit up. Three, two, stay up there, just a little crunch. Stay up there, shh, shh. Right there, right there, Rachel, good. You're drawing that low back. Exhales, exhales, three, Two, one, awesome girls, awesome. Listen, you bring those weights down to your chest and then you take them out to the sides, okay? Especially if they're over 10 pounds. Roll it over mountain climbers in five, four, three, two, one, go. Awesome gang, mountain climbers for me, Jess, whenever you're ready. Remember, you can also just hold your plank. You can go nice and slow and steady, but you are trying to get your knee to touch above your elbow at your tricep. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Star Jack's coming at you. Hoo wee baby, Star Jack's coming at you in seven. Six, five, this is it, gang. Now we're gonna slow it down a little bit. Three, two, one, and go. All right, so you could get a little rhythm where you just go from one right to the other, or you can take a second on the floor every time, just resetting yourself. All oh, my ladies looking good. Katie, let's get that chest up for me. Let's look forward, baby. Let's look forward. Up and open. Up and open. Up and open. Good. More stabilization at your low back. Seven, six. Everybody looks great. Five, four, three, two. Rest. Dang. Good dough. 
Awesome. Awesome. You ladies. Now remember, you can't go starving yourself now. You've got to eat. You've got to replenish. You've got to feed your body fuel, right? So just make sure your refrigerator looks mostly like the produce section at the supermarket. And then you've got your proteins over here. And then you've got a little bit of your rice and potatoes over there. Rice and potato don't work for you, maybe something else. But don't not eat those and then end up drinking a bottle of wine at the end of the day, right? They don't, that doesn't equate, okay? All right, listen, I need you to grab your weights. We're going to do our balancing deadlift move. So I'm like a seesaw, right? When my leg goes up, my torso goes down. Think of it that way. Otherwise, I see a lot of people drop their torso, and then all of a sudden their leg kicks up. You're one unit. All right, now, again, make sure that knee isn't locked for me, okay? All right, ladies, pull in the belly, straighten out the spine. You're holding your weight. Let's go. You're going to do 12 reps each leg. 12 reps each leg. We want to make sure that knee isn't locked. And we want to make sure your spine is straight. Your body moves as one unit. Katie, let's make sure your right toes aren't rotating out to the right wall. Work hard to keep them straight down to the floor. That's going to be your inner thigh muscle and your oblique muscle. Do 12 on the one leg. Do 12 on the other. Not too quickly, gang. Not too quickly. Keep your gaze in one spot. That will help a lot. Good, make sure you get that nice erect spine all the way through. Beautiful, Ashley, looking just like a seesaw. 12 on the other leg. Tommy's in, same thing with those toes. Katie, just slow it on down, girlfriend. Remember, if you're losing your balance, make your range of motion smaller, get that balance, and then you can increase it. Awesome, awesome. Keep it going here. Good. We're going to go into our Turkish get up. We're going to do the third point of the Turkish get up 12 reps on each side. So when you're ready, you'll have one arm up, and that's also the knee that's bent. I'm looking up at my weight, and from the floor with the foot of the knee that's bent, I'm going to drive up to one, tap my butt, drive up to two. Tap my butt, drive up for three. Tap that butt, drive up for four. Goal is to do 12 on each side. Keep looking up at your bell. Keep looking up at that bell. Excellent, make sure that foot is pushing you back towards your hand. Your hand stabilized over the shoulder. Very nice. Do 12 on each side. Just the third portion, yep, so right arm up. Right knee bent, left leg out straight. You got it. Look right at that dumbbell. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Just that third portion is that basically that pelvis, uh, like a plank on, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a bridge, a hip bridge. All right, you got it, Rab. Looking good. Corey, looking good. Nice, Jessica. Looking right up at that weight. Looking right up at that weight. 12 on each side. Awesome, then we're gonna go into a hollow hold, pressing one or two of those weights, totally up to you. So you're getting your 12 on your other side now, right, if my left arm is up, it's my left knee that's bent, other leg is long and straight, and those three extremities, those two heels and that one hand. All right, from there, we're gonna go hollow hold position, and we're gonna do 30 presses with your hands. Right, 25 to 30. I'm just taking that 12 and doubling it up. Get that low back down. I know 12 and 12 is 24. It's not 30 and it's not 25. But you know what I'm getting at. We're just trying to double it up there. Nice, Rachel, I see you, very good. Use your weight, Yen, use your weight. So you're holding a weight here and if your weight is really light, hold both of them. Nice, we've got Ashley finishing up her Turkish get up, her third point of the Turkish get up. 
You girls are in your hollow holding and you're pressing your weights up and down, 25 to 30 reps. From there, roll over on your belly for me, please. We're gonna go into our superwoman jumping jacks, right? So we're laying down prone position, face down. And here, I'm gonna go very slowly and do 20 jumping jacks. I'm at eight, nine, 10, 20 of them. At the end of number 20, you will hold it for 10 seconds. Nice, Ashley. Ashley finishing up her hollow hold with her presses. Nice, my ladies at home, you're doing your prone jacks, right? You're on your belly doing jumping jacks. At the end of number 20, legs out wide and hold for 10 seconds. When you're done there, you can go right back into child's pose. When you're done there, you can go right into child's pose. I'll know you're done, because I'll see you go into child's pose. I'm gonna start getting us ready for cooling down in here by changing out the music. I'm gonna close down the lights in here, so it might get a little dark, but you, are in child's pose after that 10 second hold in your superwoman jack flyer. Everybody, eyes closed. Everybody, eyes closed. Awesome, keep breathing. Eyes are closed, you're resting, you're recovering, and you're allowing yourself some time. We've got a little cool down music on. I hope you're feeling amazing. The key is to work hard at your level at that time. Some days you see me, I crank it all out. Some days I don't. I do miss having you up on the big screen though, so I can see you better. All right, now just start rocking this either forward and back or a little side to side. So find what feels best for you and your body right now. Maybe you're going into a little deeper underarm stretch. Maybe you've taken your legs more out into frog position. Let's find our all fours and go cat cow now, please. Nice and easy, cat cow. And even here, maybe you rock from side to side. Excellent. Now I'm gonna keep the body in right about in the middle of the two of those poses. My head is dropped down and hanging. And now I'm moving my head and my hips to the right at the same time. And then my head and my hips to the left at the same time. Oh. All right, I'm gonna take my right foot forward to go into my runner's lunge. I wanna let the foot go out to the side so it stretches that outer ankle. All right, so I've got both hands down on the inside of that front foot. I allow the foot to roll out to the outside edge of it.
Good. The belly is a little hollowed, holding it in a little. All right, I'm going to rock back into hamstring stretch. So I can either sit on this back leg or my butt can be up. But as long as I feel that hamstring stretch on the front leg. Now I'm going to manipulate the angle of my ankle, my foot, right, to make sure that I feel the stretch just a little bit differently in that hamstring, making sure I'm hitting every aspect of it. Awesome. All right, I'm going to come forward. I'm going to switch that. You can switch it any way that you want. I come forward into it. And then again, I let that foot drop out to the side. I'll just hang here. The belly is just slightly hollowed. Now I can feel that this is that ankle I sprained many, 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 probably about 12 years ago. And there's still residual scar tissue in there. It gets in the way. Oh. I'm moving a little side to side, feels great. I'm gonna rock it back into that hamstring stretch now. You're gonna hang out there, decide what feels best for you. Good, maybe move the ankle around a little bit, the foot, and just find if there's a different area of your hamstring that needs more stretching. Nice, Katie, now that head can really drop down. Great, three, two, and one. Bring it back into our tall kneeling position. And then I'm going to just reach that right arm down, left arm up. I'm going to rest my hand on my lower leg and stay here for a moment. And breathe. My gaze, I'll move that head around a little bit. I really want to focus into the ribs and that side body. And I'll switch. Abdomen in. I'm going to breathe in and breathe through. Take one more breath. And if there's any other stretch you'd like to hit before you go, please do. As always, I recommend at the end of the day, somewhere in the day, set your alarm 10, 20 minutes and just get on the floor and start moving. You could be in a standing position and start with like a sun salutation, right? Just get yourself moving and allow yourself time to loosen. Ladies at home in the studio, muchos gracias. Happy Friday, y'all. Yen, we'll see you tomorrow, 10:15. Thank you so much. Rob, great job. Appreciate it. Corey, nice work, girlfriend.